The Unified School District will allow all students to return to campus four days a week starting next Monday. That decision coming at a special meeting last night. News Channel 3's Danny Romero has more on how this plan is going to work. Expect to see more students back on Desert Sands Unified School District's campuses starting Monday. It's a day Lynn Young has been waiting for, where both of her kids are able to get back into the classroom after struggling with distance learning. Doing it on Zoom has just been uh, like a circus. <laughs> Right now, Young says her kindergartner is learning in person four days a week, but pretty soon her second grader will be able to do the same. I can't explain how as happy or excited I am because I really am too excited to say it. Desert Sands Unified School District will now allow all in-person students back on campus four days a week. This plan changed from last week where the board decided to only allow seniors in the classroom from two to four days a week. Everything's going back to place and getting back to normal. Superintendent Scott Bailey is equally excited about the new plans. So we're seizing the moment. We're moving forward and uh, yesterday when the board made that unanimous decision for all students uh, in-person learning, uh, that, that was a Good day for Desert Sands, but a great day for students. Bailey says this model will eliminate the two separate cohorts, a natural step for a return to five days of in-person instruction this fall. Now we're just simply allowing uh, those students that are in cohort A, for example, that attend on a Monday, Tuesday only in person, they can now join cohort B in their typical schedule, which is Thursday, Friday. So in essence, we're doubling the amount of in-person learning opportunities. According to the district, about 63% of students participate in in-person learning. Scott says class sizes will vary by school grade, but students will have a distance learning option. So if there is a situation where a student can't attend the additional days for whatever reason, they could simply elect to be a participant in the distance learning model. Uh, but we have varying class sizes depending on the grade level. Danny Romero, News Channel 3. For families who selected to stay completely remote, uh, that's still an option. But if distance learning students now want to head back to the classroom, they'll have to make some new arrangements. For questions like that and others parents might have, we have some resources for you on KESQ.com.